Hi, I'm Dave Canal, and welcome to Wheel Thing TV. In this week's episode, we're checking out the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. As per normal now with the Cherokee range, the four model range that they have, they have the more of an aerodynamic look at the nose. It's a very long, slopey, slanted nose and certainly very good for pedestrian uh, protection as well. Main difference with the Trailhawk and uh, batting this up against the Sport that we tested last week, we've got a different bumper as you can see. It's a little bit more uh, cut in on the profile underneath. Quite simply, it gives you a bit of extra approach angle Ride height on front and rear a little bit higher than on the Sport as well, so you've got more chance of going off-road. And of course in this case you've got your driving lights, whereas on the Sport it was simply just a plastic insert. As you can see on the electronic dash, there's a beautiful steel grey electronic look to it, with heaps of information offered through these four buttons here. So we scroll up and down, currently sitting on the speedo, and of course we're in a car park so it's on zero. But you can flick through with vehicle information, uh, tyre uh, pressure at the moment, uh, coolant temperature, transmission temperature, all that kind of thing. And then as you scroll through, driver assistance, uh, lane sensing, cruise control, uh, fuel economy on the range and all that kind of thing. Trip information, how far have we gone, average litres per 100. As you can see, it's not the cheapest of things to run. We've been averaging 10.8 litres per 100 ki uh, kilometres so far. We go through into audio setup. And of course, uh, things like text messages, uh, screen setup, and so on. So there is absolutely heaps of information on this centre screen. And the standard centre console screen. It's an absolute ripper again from Chrysler with their very simple, very easy to use touch setup, uh, navigation, uh, climate control, controls, things like uh, your heated seats, and uh, of course, uh, mirror dimmer and that kind of thing nowadays. You can go into your settings button, and it's just so easy and simple to use, and that's the way electronics should be. Down here in the driving controls, this is the important thing about the Trailhawk. As you can see, it's got the automatic mode, it's got snow, sport, sand and mud. The Trailhawk is the only one that comes pre-programmed with a rock mode as well. And you've got these uh, buttons here, which basically you rotate, and that'll take you through to the various uh, modes that you need. And of course, your buttons there, that it's just really quite simple. Bit of a press, four-wheel drive low range, locking rear diff if you're definitely going to go off-road, hill descent control, those kind of things built into the dials. Uh, yet again though, the issue of ergonomics comes into play with the sloping USB and SD card slot, great receptacles for dirt and dust. And in the centre console, another USB port and including another 12 volt socket for your mobile phones, etc, etc. Jeep Trailhawk has a couple of extra party pieces as well, remote control. Remote tailgate, press that twice. And upsy daisy. Or if you want to go the other way around. And you've also got remote start, and I have to say it works pretty well. Again, two presses. simple as that. In profile, no real differences between the two, as I say, mainly to do with the ride height. Slightly different tint to the rear light so, and you do get, in this case, some very handy, very usable roof racks. At the back, again, a little bit of a slight difference to the profile of the rear bumper, in this case allowing a different uh, uh, exit angle if you're taking it off-road, and certainly it's very capable. Electric seating, as you would have expected, beautiful leather seats with a little bit of red stitching in there and across on the passenger side nice little surprise of course some storage space back seats as well are quite comfy and come with the wonderful easy pull the lever and slide plenty of storage room as well fold down cup holders and if you want to get the seats down just a simple push. Well, I've got 
got to say I've really enjoyed my time with the Jeep Cherokee. Well, I've really got to say I've enjoyed my week with the Trailhawk. It's been a fantastic car to drive, a 200 kilowatt, 320 newton metre, 3.2 litre V6. The Select Track off-road system works as you'd expect. It's a fantastic car, both on-road and off-road. It's well equipped, got some great technological points about it as well. And after a while, the look actually grows on you. I like it. For $47,000, couldn't go wrong. For Will Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.